Hello, today's August 18, 2019, and we're at our Piper Cherokee, ready for takeoff runway 17 at Tacoma Narrows Airport. All right, so we're all lined up and ready to go, and what we're going to do is we're going to take off and fly a normal traffic pattern, bring it in for a normal approach, but the only difference is, instead of pulling the power back at the runway threshold, we're going to leave 1,500 RPMs in, and we're going to attempt to fly the airplane right along the center line, just about the full length of the runway, to keep the wheels from touching. The goal is to have it just a few inches above the runway if possible and maintain that center line. Again, almost the full length of the runway. And then we'll apply full power and do a go around. And then we'll bring it around one more time, bring it in for a full stop, taxi in for parking and do a quick debrief. All right, so applying full power. Again, we're just gonna fly a normal traffic pattern. And looking for 75, and there it is, and we're off the ground. So everything's normal. And we're approaching the runway threshold. And pulling the power back to 1500 RPMs. And first notch flaps. And we're going to descend. We're going to maintain 100 miles per hour in the descent. Checking for the 45. Here's the 45, turning left base. Here we're going to maintain 90. There's 90. And we're going to roll out again at a right angle to the runway center line. There it is. Second notch of flaps and turning fun. And here we're going to pitch for 80. And again, we're going to keep 1500 RPMs in. And final notch of flaps. And we're going to leave 1500 in there. Try to keep those wheels off the runway. Just above stall speed. Stall speed's 55. So normally we would pull power back here. We're going to keep 1500 in. And we're just going to keep it just above the runway. Just barely above the runway. Keeping it off. Holding it off. And we can put a little power back in. 
holding it off. Still flying. Still flying. A little bit of power back in. Okay, full power. First notch of flaps. Positive rate of climb, maintaining runway, heading, climbing out at 85, and final notch of flaps. And turning left crosswind. So the only thing I noticed on that is that it, the, the RPMs continue to drop, so I had to keep adding power throughout the slow flight. And pull the power, power back to 2100. And we'll roll out here. And pitch for that and trim for that. full stop and then we'll taxi in and we'll do an instant replay look outside the airplane and see how we did on that slow flight get a roll out on 350 and pre-landing checklist fuel tank set to fullest and it's set to the right tank fullest fuel pump is on landing light on carpet on Mixture set to full rich. And looking for the threshold. drop and then looking for the 45. There's the 45 turning left base. And here we're pitching for 90. Turning final and pitching for eighty on final. Add a little bit of power. Retracted, car heat off.
and we're bringing it to parking right here and take a look at our replay. And instead of pulling the power back right about here, we're going to keep 1500 RPMs in. Slow flight just above the runway surface. the airplane so the, the reason that you would want to even practice that is it it enhances your landing technique if you can practice that slow flight just above the runway surface it's essentially the condition your airplane is going to be in just before landing difference being you're keeping a little bit of power in in this case whereas normally you would pull the power back and allow it to settle down onto the runway so if, if you become proficient at controlling the airplane in this flight condition it'll contribute significantly to better landings. So that's it for today. Thanks for joining me, and I hope to see you again next time.